guys welcome again to my channel today i have a bookish unboxing because i have a, a luma crate to unbox i think this one is still the month april with um the team dearly departed so um yeah very halloween vibes if you ask me um so yeah really really curious to see what's in this one because it's a heavy one and also a bigger box than usual so really really curious but before we discover what's in this box if you're new to my channel hi welcome my name is megan and welcome to cool scene if you like things that have to do with books with writing with reading with harry potter with magic with disney with star wars um with marvel with dc with anything geeky really then you're in the right place make sure to click on that magical subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell because on that way you'll always get a notification whenever I upload something new. But uh, yeah, October is slowly coming closer. And since this is still the April box, it's highly time for another unboxing video. As usual, before we start, a little bit more information about Illumicrate in case you don't know them yet. Uh, Illumicrate is a monthly uh, bookish subscription box based in the UK. They are quite popular. Um, they usually focus on young adult books. Um, so uh, every box um, comes with their own team. And in every box is then uh, a book that is uh, linked to that team. And uh, I think about five items. And one of the items is also an exclusive Illumicrate pin that can be linked to the book. Um, the book is usually also um, an Illumicrate exclusive, being that it can be an exclusive hardback when the normal version is usually just a paperback. It can have an exclusive cover, it can have an exclusive dust jacket. Uh, if it has a dust jacket, um, there is a high chance that there will also be artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket. Uh, embossy, embossed art um, in foiling on the hardcover and usually everything is also signed by the author. Um, so yeah, I'm really curious about this one because as I said, the theme is Dearly Departed, um, which was the theme for their April box because it still is their April box. I know I'm quite behind on them, um, but next month it's October. I'm really, really looking forward to Halloween. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm very, very curious to see uh, what this box is about. So let's go for a sneak peek. So we open our box and the first thing we see is indeed the spoiler card that reads Dearly Departed. And underneath we have a layer of paper and underne underneath that are all the items hiding. So as I said, the first thing we see is uh, this little leaflet that has indeed Dearly Departed on the front with the box, uh, with the, also the mention it's indeed the April box. Inside we have the spoilers and on the back we already have uh, the team for uh, the May box that is also waiting <laughs> back uh, behind the, the scenes. So uh, yeah, we'll lay that aside for just a bit and we'll go straight for the items. On top I find uh, this, seems like a cloth like item, in a piece of plastic. Is there like a little... No, I think I have to... No, okay. Let's get rid of the crinkly, crinkly plastic. And we have this. Ooh. Okay. More plastic. Let's see what this is. Ooh. Okay. It's like this little bag slash basket. It kind of reminds me of... Um, the um, bread baskets my mom has for when when we have like brunch or like uh, someone someone is visiting or or so. Um, but this is of course a bit big for a bread basket, so I guess it's something to store books in. Um, we have a lovely design. We have ravens. I can see. <gasps> Yes, black cats running along the border. I think that is my favorite part of the whole uh, design. I see toot, um, a toot and bones, and I see a very cool looking sword. 
Um, and it says, too many books, too few centuries. Yes, if I was a vampire, that would be so much easier. And it is a quote from uh, Jay Kristoff's books. So yeah, really cool. And as I said, I think, I'm pretty sure this is something to like store your um, books that you're going to read, like your TBR in. Although this one is not even close enough to fit in my TBR, but I have to say, um, lately I've been kind of addicted to animes on Netflix. And usually when there's an anime, there's also mangas of them. So now I'm into reading mangas too. So maybe I can use this to store like my first few mangas that come uh, in the next few days, I hope. So uh, yeah, uh, but I like it. It's cute. And it's also, I, I haven't seen, yeah, an item like this before because usually it's a tote bag. And this is actually really like a cloth basket. So uh, yeah, really fun item to start with. And I love the cats. I love the black cats. As a black cat owner myself, now that I think of it, if Boo sees this, he will fill it up instead of my mangas, knowing him. Oh well. Time for another item. Let's go with something from the side. Now I'm thinking this is going to be the pin. And since that also is a link to the book, maybe I should... I'm going to keep this, put it back and come back to it in a, in a while. Um, this item is made of glass. Ooh, it's a mason jar, but um, one with a handle. And it says, um, it oh, has a um, roaring lion on it, and it says Jacques Restaurant, or Jacques Restaurant. Good, but you guys can see it a bit better. So yeah, this one is perfect to make like a freak shake in it. I don't know if you guys know freak shakes. It's like a very American thing that you basically make a milkshake and then top it off with like a donut and candy and that sort of stuff. Uh, also good to drink lemonade out of or just water or, which I probably will use it for, to store um, pans in it or um, bookmarks or anything. Um, but I guess this is also like a reference to a book. Um, but I can't pinpoint it, so I guess it's a title I haven't read yet. So, um, yeah, spoiler card will tell us, but yeah, it's fun. It's not, it's fun that it's not, again, a mug, because we have a lot of mugs, and this is like, yeah, a jug, almost. Um, so yeah, really fun that they did a twist on that. Uh, what else do we have? We have a little cardboard box. I'm going to use my scissors to open it. Good thing they are quite sharp. There we go. Oh, cool! It's one of their book pots. I already have one from um, that that had like fables and folklore, which I really liked. Mm. This one is red and it says Book of the Dead and it has um, a scarab on it that is covered in gold foil and then the side of it and this is the back. Uh, discover the ancient secrets of the underworld. And look at the cats. Look at it. Oh, I love the cats. Um, this is, uh, as I said, one of their book pots. So it's basically a ceramic pot that is shaped as a book. Uh, again, you can store it, uh, you can store bookmarks in it, you can store pens in it, um, or you can uh, try and put a plant in it, though I wouldn't recommend because um, there are no holes in the bottom so that the water can uh, flow away if, it, if the plant has too much water. Um, but fake plants are always an option too. I love it. Do I have to say that the other one is my favorite because it's right here in my bookshelf. This was their, the other one that I got. Um, this one of course has the upper hand of being purp in purple, one of my favorite colors. 
uh, has a bit more of like golden foiling going on than this one. Um, and this one is the Forgotten Fables and Folklore. Um, but yeah, still, this one really fits the Book of the Dead because uh, red is a very important color in Egyptian uh, mythology. And oh, the little details like uh, the scarab on the front and then the cats on the back for uh, Queen Bastet, uh, the goddess Bastet, or Bast, as um, they also call her. So uh, yeah, really, really cool. Love this book pot. Going to put you with the rest items. I'm going to put you back on your place in my bookshelves. Then we have, ooh, okay, we have a set of magnets. Again, don't know which fandom they are from, but these are uh, what's on them. Sorry for the glare of the light. It's getting dark outside, so I had to put on my lights. Um, again, as I said, don't know um, the uh, fandom it's from, but I'm pretty sure our spoiler card will tell us in a bit. Um, but the, I love the fact that the characters on them have like um, painted skull masks on. So yeah, it's again really Halloween vibe-like. Plus, of course, since it is called Tearly the Part, it yeah, fits in with the spooky um, vibe of the box. So yeah, uh, fun magnets, useful magnets. So uh, we're going to put those aside. Then we also have... Ooh, we have two bookmarks that are kind of um, designed like tarot cards. And on one side you have Lydia, Lydia and Ivrilos, I think it's he is called. And they're like in Greek um, setup. He reminds me of uh, like a depiction of Hades and she of, of Aphrodite maybe. And then on the back we have a uh, Rovar. And then on this back we have uh, Jaffa, I think she is called again no clue which fandom but i love the artwork i love the greekish style almost so uh yeah i am a fan though i have no clue which fandom they are from so i'm really really curious about these okay then i think we can safely go oh no there's still one thing left that almost sneakily got away. We also have a keychain with like a, uh, I think it's called a site in in, um, in English. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, there is this, I haven't read the books yet, but there is this um, book series called Sight. So I'm pretty sure that's from this, uh, from that. And there is also a teeny tiny quote on the site itself. Let's see if I can read it. I didn't, I ain't waiting for an opportunity. I'm making one. Good quote to have. So it's a very simple keychain with then the quote on it. Um, yeah, you can never go wrong with the keychain. I love the fact that it's silver because I'm not that huge a fan of gold. Um, so yeah, handy to um, hang on your keys. And actually the quote is quite inspirational on a daily basis. So um, yeah, it's kind of like also a motivational keychain. I like it. I think now we can go for the pin before we go to the book. Yes, there is nothing hiding under the flaps of the box. Okay, so back to the white package from before. In this we have our monthly pin that also forms a link to our book. And we have, ooh, okay, this one is cool. We have um, like a white skull looking pin, a white and black one, but the skull is actually um, seems like poppy flowers formed. It's really cool. And it, as usual, it is designed by uh, Stacey McAvoy-Kant. And um, 
this time it is inspired by the book In the Raven is Dark. Um, so yeah, as I said, it forms a link to the book. So now that we have discovered our pin, let's go for the book. Usually the books of uh, Illumicrate come in um, like these um, fabric pouches, uh, but lately they do come in just a plastic cover. I think that also has to do with the pandemic um, because um, not all deliveries go through as quickly as they should go and of course uh, the resources to make pouches and stuff um, is also a bit um, yeah, in the works because of that. But this is our book of the month, well of April. Da, 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 da. And again we have the um, skull-like design that we also saw on our pin. And it's called indeed In the Raven is Dark by A.M. Strickland. And it is gorgeous. I don't know, there is like a shining effect on all the red. It's like textured and slightly raised and in this glossy effect. Um, this is the side of the book and on the back we have the quote She loves a princess. She's bound to a warrior. She must betray them both oh, And look at the stencil sprayed edges again with the flowers Love it Let's see if there's something hiding underneath. No, so there is no um, artwork underneath the dust jacket, but there is um we have a normal uh, red hardcover, no embossing details aside from on the side. Um, again, the title and everything. Ooh, but if we open it up, we also find our um, art print and artist letter that comes with it. Um, but the inside, we have a little bit of artwork. I'm going to see if it's also, yes, it's the same one on the other side, well on the back, and if we normally, oh, that's weird, normally the books are signed, but this time there is no uh, signature, so I guess we are getting um, the um, book plate with the signature um, in one of the boxes yet to come. Um, but let's quickly reassemble everything. And then we can uh, read what this book is about. So, okay. Power never dies, and neither does desire. In Tenopolis, magic is rare rare and closely controlled. Those blessed or cursed with power are put under constant guard, assigned to undead spirits who watch their every move. Ever since her father died to save her from this fate, Roven has kept her magic a closely guarded secret, until an accident exposes her powers for the world to see, and her tenuous, tenuous freedom comes crashing to an end. Brought to the royal palace against her will and thrust into the maelstrom of intrigue and deception, Roven is drawn to two people she cannot fully trust. The Dea, a beguiling and rebellious princess struggling against her own destiny, and Ivrilus, the handsome, powerful spirit she has bound to, who can control Roven, body and soul. Together they uncover a terrible secret that could destroy everyone in Tenopolis, the living and the dead. To save them, Roven will have to start a rebellion in both the mortal world and the underworld, and find a way to trust the princess and the undead spirit vying for her heart, if she doesn't betray them first. Ooh, okay, this sounds really cool. Now, I'm not mistaking, the um, bookmarks um, are then from um, the ones, the, the characters of these books, because we had, like, uh, Rovar, and Ivrilos, and then we also had um, Lidea, and then I can't, I think it's uh, Jaffa that 
uh, she is called, or he is called, no, she is called. Um, so yeah, really intrigued by this book. The synopsis really sounds, yeah, book-like for me. Again, one for my to be read that doesn't fit in our to be read bag, book bag. At least I guess that's what it is. Um, but yeah, that was everything in our box. So it's time to take a little peek at our um, spoiler card. So uh, the first thing we had was our book of the dead book pot, which was uh, this one. Um, the artwork is done by Chetty Nora, um, and it's our latest book pot is inspired by ancient Egyptian Egyptian mythology. So yeah, really love this one. Really love the details in it. The second item was Too Many Books Organizer, designed by Fess Inkright or uh, Ross Dottir on Instagram, which is this one. So it is a book bag basket. Um, until this, uh, use this canvas book organizer inspired by Nevernight to store your current two BR or anything else you choose. Yeah, pretty sure I can store one of my cats in it if he sits. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to probably use this to uh, store my manga, uh, my mangas for now because I have like five of. I ordered the first five of every of three different uh, series. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they can fit in there. Um, then our next item was the uh, Jacques Mason jar gloss, uh, which was uh, this one. Again, I'm going to put my hand behind it so that you can see uh, the little details on it. Um, it was designed by That's Lovely Dear. Um, this souvenir gloss from Jacques restaurant is inspired by the beautiful do I have that book? I don't think I have the book. But still, it's it's a fun item. Next, we had Gloom Mistress and Griddle Magnets, which were these. These. Um, they were um, designed by Dree or uh, Saint Tree on um, Instagram. Uh, featuring our favorite necromancer and cavalier pair from Gideon the Ninth. Oh, I heard about the book, but I don't have it yet. So, yeah, that are those. Let me put you over here. Then we had our um, sickle, right? Our sickle keyring. Um, this one was designed by uh, Daniela or Palace of Resin uh, on uh, Instagram. And the keyring is inspired by Jane's sickle and features a quote from Dread Nation. Oh, okay, so it isn't from Sight. I thought it was from Sight, but still, it's a fun inspirational quote uh, as a daily reminder when you hang it on your keys. Uh, then we also had our um, monthly collector's pin, which was designed by Stacey McAvoy Count. Uh, and it is indeed inspired by uh, the poppy skull design on the cover of the book. And then of course we had our uh, featured book, In the Raven is Dark uh, by A.M. Strickland. Or Strickland. I always want to say Strickland, but it's Strickland. Um, the Illuminate edition came with, came with exclusive stenciled edges, art and papers from um, Lit Sour and a signed book plate. Huh. I don't have the signed book plate. I'm gonna have to take a look closer in the book, in the box, I mean, to see if I missed something. Uh, but I'll do that after the video. Um, and for the rest, there isn't anything on it about the bookmarks. But yeah, we still had our matching bookmarks to go with the book. So yeah. Um, that was everything in this box. Um, let's quickly take a look at our May team. Uh, which will be Change Your Stars. As I said, it's also waiting to be unboxed in uh, the backstage. Um, we all love those characters who see their fate and refuse to accept it, who forge their own path throughout life, no matter how hard. 
who never give up the pursuit of their goals and dreams. Our book this month is an epic fantasy set in an Indian-inspired world, a princess held captive in an abandoned ancient temple, plus revenge on the brother who banished her there. When the princess witnesses the hidden powers of one of the maids sent to clean the temple, she forces her into an uneasy alliance in order to escape and overthrow her brother. Together they will set an empire ablaze. We loved the gorgeous uh, prose and the dynamics between our two mortal grey main characters. Our Illumicrate edition will have exclusive stenciled edges, embossing on the hardback and come with a signed book plate. Both the full box and book only options also come with the magic pin with the matching pin designed by Stacy McAvoy Kant. Uh, the items of that month are inspired by girls uh, girls of paper and fire, spinning silver, skywars, the invisible life of Adelaru and City of Brass. This month will be including one of our Pohami book sleeves in the box. Ooh, Pohami makes beautiful book sleeves. Um, we will be including a novel Tread's dress enamel pin, ooh, nice, with uh, blissfully bookish trees, tees. So we have both, we have, I think, then two pins in our box. Cool. Okay. So with that out of the way, I think it's time for me to pick a top three. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. On three, I'm going to put our new book basket thingy uh, because I find it very original. I love the print. I mean, cats, crows, swords, uh, yes please. Um, and as I said, I'm pretty sure I am going to store my mangas in it for now. Um, but yeah, really, really fun uh, and original ID to put in a box and this fun twist on, you know, your general tote bag. On number two, I'm going to place the book pot because um, yeah, I still love it, even though it's not, um, even though I still prefer the previous one with the purple and everything, I still, I still like this one, so yeah. Number two, and on the first place, of course, we have the gorgeous book, because it has, again, an amazing synopsis, and I mean, the stunning exclusive limit, um, Illumicrate design is just gorgeous. So that was my top three. Feel free to let me know down in the comments what you thought of this box. Um, what was your favorite item? What was your least favorite item? Did you read the book already? Uh, what did you thought of it? Just let me know down below. Also down below, but then in uh, the description box, you can find a link to Illumicrate's website, but also to my previous unboxing of um, an Illumicrate box. Um, and also, uh, there will be links to my Instagram and my blog because um, on my Instagram there will be, as usual, lots of pictures uh, concerning these items. And on my blog there will eventually appear a blog post in both Dutch and English, um, which is basically this entire unboxing written out. All that's left to say then is thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a little thumbs up because it helps me more than you know. And hopefully I see you guys soon for another bookish magical video. Bye! Mm -hmm.